Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from IsraelAutomation.com and welcome to another video of a test project. And today in this video, we're going to talk about the all new Element Explorer or the all new Web Element Explorer in test project. So the Web Element Explorer is the feature introduced in test project version 0.57 is yet another great feature which will replace the way you identify a control in the test project. So you can see on the right hand side, so this is the Element Explorer which has all the complete control information of a particular page. So this is our Xero Automation demo site where it shows you the do of the Xero Automation heading. Then it also shows you the attributes below like an element details over there. And it also shows whether it has a form control or it has a table within the form control and the table has a table row and then the details within the table row like cells or the table rows and then you can get all the value out from it. So every single information you can get right from the Element Explorer. So the Element Explorer in fact shows all the DOM components in one single place and bring the helpful action validation options that you can see in here. So you can also do the action something like clicking or getting the text out on whatever actions that you used to do within test project. Everything comes in here and you can also do the validation like assertions right in this particular place, which is also awesome. So you can also save the elements right from this particular place, like what you're going to do into this particular UI element. You can do all sort of jazz from here. And in fact, this particular element explorer act as a replacement for our everyday Chrome dev tools or fire path that we use to identify the control since it's wicked easy to use. You can easily use this particular control to perform or identify a control and because it shows you the attributes of how to identify the controls, it's even more easier. There is one more trick which is hidden within this particular element explorer is to download the whole DOM of a particular page which you can use to identify the particular controls which is also very very easy even if you're not going to use test project within your application automation you can probably use just to download the DOM and see how the structures can look like. All these things is pretty into video and it is right away available within test project. So let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that I'm going to flip to my test project platform. Alright so as you can see I'm in my test project platform and this is the project which I have been showing all these days in this particular course and you can see that I'm going to go maybe to the Amazon website. Uh, so this is the Amazon project which I just recorded before this particular demo uh, and I can just hit the start recording options so that it will show you the more complex website basically not the EA demo site which is kind of very very easy to actually navigate with so you can see that it has opened the application there you go and this is the actual behavior while you see the recording option before element explorer but there is a new option right now called as the element explorer so once I hit this element explorer it shows you all the different elements available within amazon.com website so it shows you every single thing even if you hover your mouse you can see that it actually shows that particular element which is sitting within this particular element explorer much into video guys you can also hover within this particular child element of the components of the page much much easily and it will show you what it actually does so even if i click this it shows you exactly what is the href of this control what is the class and what is the text and stuff everything comes in in here you can also pin this stuff so that you don't uh, disappear every time and now if i let's say if i just go to the shift once again and once i go to this change address it shows me that particular button and then if i uh, navigate to this particular control it also shows me all the different options which is available within the drop down of the select options which is also pretty cool so you don't really have to click the particular select options it shows you right away what are the different options which is available within the particular select which is cool right so these are some of the cool things I really find which is available within the test project much much into video much much easier so it shows you all the elements which is sitting within this particular bestseller in I guess kitchen and dining you can see all the elements are even coming before even it's loaded because it's currently loaded and it knows I mean the element explorer knows that all these are the elements just currently sitting in here and because I'm just doing all the scrolling option it's currently recording in here so just don't worry about it yet the whole idea is to showcase you how 
the actual element is being identified with the test project much intuitively. The another good option about this particular element explorer is the download DOM options. So if I hit this download DOM options, it shows you the Amazon DOM.txt file. So if I open this, it shows you all the content of the particular page which is being downloaded over here. So it also shows that unique ID is equal to true. That's pretty cool. So because it tells us that if this particular control can be identified uniquely, then it is true. If not, it shows it sets the value as false. So there is a different way the test project can work behind the scene for you to identify the control using that particular identifier within the page. So these are the cool things that you can see within this particular DOM. Again, I'm not gonna go deep into the DOM because there are so many things within this DOM and understanding how test project is really working behind the scene to identify within this DOM is gonna be a separate video maybe. I will talk with the test project team. They're pretty kind enough to help me out how this particular identifying logic is basically works in the DOM so that I can discuss even more detail technically about how this DOM can be really used for further operation. But just that for the current information you can see this UI is pretty intuitive. So if I want to just delete all the scroll options I can hit control and you can see it just shows me all the different options. So I can just do this delete options over here and if I just delete all these steps it just deletes them all and then we can run these particular operation which is pretty cool right. So all these options that you can do in here can be executed right from this particular way that we used to do earlier. Again, these are the things that you can do from the Element Explorer. And again, this is pretty intuitive and really, really cool to see how Test Project actually identifies a control and also shows as an option of identifying these control within the Element Explorer. And this is very cool and intuitive. As I told you before, we can use this to identify our controls in our application much easily than actually using the Chrome Dev Tools and stuff to identify the particular control. So this one is also very, very interesting and helpful. So you can see that if I just go to the shop by category, it actually shows you the text. But in turn, if I click this particular stuff, you can go to the attribute and you can see what is the X path of this particular control to identify that particular control using its X path. So I can even open in the element locator to see what is this option. And then I can even add even further element locator to identify and stuff. So these are some of the cool things that you can do within the test project. And again, I have not really discussed a lot about the element locators a lot. We'll be talking about that in our upcoming videos of this particular course. But as of now, element explorer, that's what is pretty interesting and you can do a lot of jazz within the test projects element explorer and see how it works so once again thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day